If you're new to CCTV cameras, you might think that all lenses are the same, but they're not. With several focal lengths to choose from, selecting the right lens can be a daunting task. In this episode of CCTV 101, we'll compare different focal lengths of standard CCTV lenses to help you choose the best lens for your application. For our first application, we chose a shipping dock with needs for surveillance of people entering the access door 80 feet away, as well as some general area coverage. Let's briefly compare our lens options, then review. First we have a 1.7 millimeter lens. Next is a 2.8 millimeter lens. Now a seven millimeter lens. 12 millimeters. 22 millimeters. and finally a 50 millimeter lens. As you can see, the field of view dramatically narrows as you increase the lens's focal length. For this application, the 1.7 millimeter lens is an excellent option for general area coverage. Ideally, you'd also want to use an additional camera for distant objects such as the 50 millimeter lens. A good in-between option would either be a 7 or 12 millimeter lens. These options provide a slightly zoomed-in image while retaining some area coverage. A common mistake in lens selection is assuming that a single camera can cover a large area and enhance the image to show distant objects. When compared to a properly matched lens for the scene, selecting the wrong lens and then attempting to zoom in on a distant object often results in an unusable, pixelated image. This is why, whenever possible, multiple cameras should be used one for general coverage, and another for specific areas of interest. Our next application is a parking lot. After comparing our lens options, we'll review them. Let's start again with the 1.7 millimeter lens. Now the 2.8 millimeter lens. Seven millimeters. 12 millimeters. 22 millimeter lens and the 50 millimeter lens. So which lens should be used in this case? Well, that depends entirely on the desired field of view. Often, a wide angle lens is frequently used in the hopes of also capturing distant license plate information. Unfortunately, getting legible plates at a distance can be difficult with a wide angle lens. For license plate viewing, a 12 millimeter lens would be a good choice for this scene because it can capture both license plate information and provide some general area coverage. If you have a specific area where you know the vehicle will be, the 22 millimeter lens is also a good choice. So why not use a 50 millimeter lens in this case? Yes, it allows for the best readability of a single license plate, but it also necessitates a precise shot. In addition, it can be easily obscured if the car is slightly out of position or blocked by a taller vehicle. For general area coverage, you might want to consider using a wider lens, such as the 1.7 or 2.8 millimeter option. Both lenses allow you to survey the majority of the parking lot. In our next scene, we demonstrate a residential setting where the homeowner wants to monitor people approaching the front door. Let's go ahead and compare our lens options. Starting with the 1.7 millimeter lens. Now the 2.8 millimeter lens. The seven millimeter lens. 12 millimeters. 22 millimeter lens. and the 50 millimeter lens. When comparing front door camera lens options, right away you'll notice that the 50 millimeter lens is overkill. Even the 22 millimeter lens may be too zoomed in for this application. A 1.7 or 2.8 millimeter lens is an excellent all around choice for general coverage. For a slightly zoomed in image that allows for better identification at a greater distance, a seven millimeter or 12 millimeter lens would be a good choice. 
And in our final application, we have a swimming pool scene. Here the homeowner is more concerned about monitoring whether or not people are in the pool, rather than knowing who exactly is in the pool. After comparing our lens options, let's decide which one is best for this scene. Let's start again with the 1.7 millimeter lens. Now the 2.8 millimeter lens. The seven millimeter lens. 12 millimeters. 22 millimeter lens. And the 50 millimeter lens. Because of the camera's height and distance from the pool, the ultra-wide 1.7mm lens could work, but provides almost too much coverage. On the other end of the spectrum, the 50mm lens in the setting is overly zoomed in. The 7mm lens, with some camera repositioning, would be ideal for monitoring nearly the entire pool. If multiple cameras could be used, a 2.8mm lens would be great for general coverage, and a 12 or 22 millimeter lens for detailed coverage on areas such as a gate or other point of interest would be ideal. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has been helpful in determining the right lens focal length for your application. If you have questions or need assistance in selecting the right lens or camera for your next installation, give us a call at 1-800-447-3306 or visit us at clintonelectronics.com.